Mythbusters. I feel like eating my beret. Adam and Jamie step on the gas and for the myth <laughs> that a muddy motor car gets better mileage than its clean cousin. And then, in a classic Mythbusters twist, what the hell are we doing? They test if a dirty dimple can save you money. <laughs> First up, Adam and Jamie are getting down and dirty. You paddling around on the internet again, are we? Check this out. I just got a myth off of this site. What? You'll like this. It's called Dirty versus Clean Car, and it's another fuel efficiency myth. The myth is that a dirty car is more fuel efficient than a clean car because the dirt creates some kind of golf ball-like effect on the surface of the car, somehow making it more aerodynamic and thus more fuel efficient. That's not bad. I thought you'd like it. But could a coating of crud really alter the aerodynamics of your car and give you better fuel efficiency? Well, it's down to the Mythbusters to find out if there's any mileage to this theory. Okay, here's my plan. Two cars, side by side, one clean, one as dirty as we can make it, and we test the fuel efficiencies against each other. You know, based on previous experience, we've never been able to find two cars that have identical performance. I say we get one car and test it both clean and dirty. And compare the results against each other to see if there's any meat on the bones of this myth. Exactly. Let's do it. With the wheels sorted out, the Mythbusters hit the road to jumpstart this myth. A myth where accuracy is everything. This test is all about precisely measuring the amount of fuel used by this car. Now to do that, we bypassed the normal fuel system and installed our own. This is our tank. The fuel comes out the bottom, it goes into the fuel pump and right into the fuel injection system. Now when we get up to 65 miles an hour and we cross the starting line, Adam moves the arrow to the fuel level at that point. When we finish a mile later, he moves the other arrow to where the fuel's at at that point. That's how we're measuring the gas consumed. And with a mile marked out, they can get their hands dirty. This story is all about whether a dirty car gets better mileage than a clean car. So to do the test, we need a dirty car. Get down there. Yeah! They're following that old Mythbusters adage that if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. Dirty car sitting uh, pretty. It's time to find out what its muddy mileage is. All right, go for it. Okay. And uh, just give me a boop when you cross over that uh, start line, okay? Okay. And boop. You're maintaining speed, right? Exactly at 65. For consistency, the guys run the dirty car down the track five times at a highway speed of 65 miles per hour every time. Three and seven eighths. All right, here we go. And then Adam converts the inches into miles per gallon. All right, so we ran this dirty car on a course that was exactly a mile long every single time at precisely 65 miles per hour, and the results are pretty consistent. Averaged out over all the runs, I'm coming up with a fuel efficiency of exactly 24 miles to the gallon. Dirty car, 24 miles per gallon, huh? That's correct. Let's clean it up. All right. 24 miles per gallon seems reasonable. <laughs> but now for some good, clean fun. But one shampoo and scrub ain't gonna ditch the dirt. Six car washes and some Heinemann buffing later, and the car is spotless. Everything's ready to go? Clean car, we're good to go. Just like last time, the clean car takes five trips down the mile-long track. So check this out. Half of our runs were three and five eighths inches. Half of the runs were at three and a half. That means I can do the average in my head. It's three and nine sixteenths. I love consistent data. And with all that consistent data, it doesn't take Adam long to crunch the numbers. So the results are in, and here they are. The dirty car got an average of 24 miles to the gallon, while the clean car got an average of 26.4 miles to the gallon. I'm gonna spell it out for you and make it really clear that the clean car did better. What'd we get? Clean car's mileage, 26.4 miles to the gallon. That's better. A lot better than the dirty one, yeah. Not looking good for the myth. No, it's not. Oh. 